In the upcoming Days of Our Lives episodes, Chad DeMera finds himself in a pivotal moment as he aims to bring down Clyde Weston and save Johnny and Chanel from danger. Chad's emotional turmoil intensifies as he grapples with memories of Abigail's past trauma caused by Clyde. The show hints at Chad's possible involvement in thwarting Clyde's plans, underscoring the necessity of permanently stopping the villain. Meanwhile, other storylines unfold, including Eric's confrontation with Stefan, Sloane's interference with Nicole's christening plans, and Everett's growing concern over Stephanie's distancing behavior. As tensions rise and alliances shift, viewers can anticipate a whirlwind of drama and suspense in the upcoming episodes of Days of Our Lives. In the next week's teasers, viewers can expect Kristen DeMera and Alex Kiriakis to devise a new scheme to reclaim their former partners. Everett Lynch senses a loss of control over Stephanie, leading to speculation about his true intentions. Meanwhile, Holly Jonas grapples with revealing the truth to Eric Brady, adding another layer of complexity to their relationship. With intriguing plot twists and character developments, the stage is set for an action-packed week on Days of Our Lives. In the latest episode, Stefan faces the consequences of his past actions as he grapples with remorse and seeks redemption. Chad confronts Stefan about their shared history and encourages him to face the truth. Meanwhile, Paulina returns home to a surprise celebration, but Steve's preoccupation hints at underlying tensions. As secrets unravel and alliances are tested, the characters navigate a web of deceit and betrayal, setting the stage for dramatic confrontations and unexpected revelations on days of our lives. Welcome to a pastime shows, where the drama unfolds and the stories captivate. Join us as we delve into the intriguing world of A Days of Our Lives, revealing the untold tales and hidden truths behind the headlines. Days of Our Lives forecast Chad brings the enemy down for good by saving Johnny and Chanel from the runaway Clyde? According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Chad DeMera may finally get the vindictive closure he's been waiting for. Now that Clyde Weston has departed Statesville, Chad is experiencing a plethora of conflicting feelings. Recently, Days of Our Lives has been emphasizing a few key topics, discuss them. To begin with, Chad has been the center of attention due to his reputation as the Canice de Mara sibling, this could be a pretext for him to do anything less than honorable. Days has also allowed Chad to experience again the terror of discovering Abigail de Mara on the bed following Clyde's pursuit of her. They seem to be attempting to bring back to viewers' memories how awful it was for Chad to lose his cherished wife in such a dreadful way. Stated differently, Day's writers are assisting viewers in recalling that Clyde is, in fact, a monster. We are dealing with a villain who is unfit to exist, he is the dirt of the planet. This is especially relevant now that Clyde is incarcerated and still committing crimes. Clyde will simply resume his usual evil deeds and make all of his threats if he is apprehended and locked away once more. Someone needs to permanently stop Clyde, and may Chad be that someone? This leads us to yet another possible clue regarding Chad and an impending threat. Chad cautioned against bringing someone into the DeMera family before Johnny DeMera married Chanel DeMera, using Abigail's predicament as an illustration of how things could go wrong. Chad believes that the DeMeras are cursed, thus Days was subtly implying that Chanel and Johnny were about to face some difficulties. That trouble should surely arise now that Johnny and Chanel are newlyweds planning to spend their honeymoon at the Horton cabin. It makes likely that after Chanel and Johnny show up, Clyde and Officer Rebecca Goldman would end up hiding out at the abandoned cottage they discovered. In the interim, Chad may receive updates on certain news that aids in determining Clyde's whereabouts. It's not hard to see Chad arming himself and eventually taking out Clyde to keep Johnny and Chanel from meeting a terrible end. Goldman will be fortunate if she makes it through whatever lies ahead of her, but we'll have to wait and see. In summary, we have a mysterious cabin excursion, some dangerous fugitives, and an enraged husband who still needs to get revenge on his wife. 
Does this mean that Chad will kill Clyde in order to carry out a rescue effort that will benefit from his retaliation? According to spoilers on Days of Our Lives, Chad may have one more chance to permanently remove Clyde. So pay attention. Days of Our Lives warning, Eric spies on Stefan, Sloan cancels Nicole's invitation, Stefan is being blackmailed. According to teasers for Friday, March 22, S episode of Days of Our Lives, John Black intends to turn himself into the police as soon as he offers Constantine Meliunis a sincere apology. John will feel compelled to own up to his mistakes after telling Marlena Evans how troubled he is about Katharina's passing. But in the next episode or two, Marlena will bring in Steve Johnson in the hopes of persuading John to accept forgiveness from himself rather than face a prison sentence. Stefan D. Mara will proceed with the chess moves he alluded to in the meantime. Even though Stefan had a regretful and inebriated night, he's starting to sober up and realize there might be a way out of this situation. Stefan is prepared to make a deal now that he has turned himself into the Salem Police Department. Day's spoilers claim that when E.J. D. Mara learns that Stefan confessed to the police rather than using his escape route, he will be horrified. If E.J. doesn't help him get out of this legal bind, Stefan might threaten to tell about his brother, the district attorney, trying to get him to leave the country. Naturally, Stefan will be hoping for a relatively mild sentence that will get him out of jail quickly, or better yet, no jail time at all. Harris Michaels might take issue with Stefan's attempt to clear his name and warn him that he might face consequences for attempting to kill a police officer twice. But before you divulge that small piece of information, Stefan might alter his account and claim that he was just as involved with Ava Vitali as he was with Clyde Weston. Day's spoilers state that Harris will let Ava know about a possible problem with Stefan and the agreement they made earlier, so she might be concerned about going to jail. Harris will have to handle everything and ensure that Ava continues to be a free woman. He'll observe Nicole DiMera and Sloan Peterson Brady's christening conversation over with Eric Brady, so he can step in if things get heated. According to previews for days, Eric might encourage Sloan to back down and be polite when he tries to rescind Nicole's christening invitation. Eric won't allow Sloan to win this debate because we already know that Nicole and Holly Jonas will be present at the ceremony. The baptism occasion is expected to bring some scary moments for Sloan, especially since guilty Leo Stark will be present, according to our Days of Our Lives predictions. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Sloan will eventually reveal her information about Jude Brady that she stole. Thus, keep an eye out for the Shocker's leak date. Days of Our Lives weekly teasers ahead, Kristen and Alex's next move is revealed. According to early weekly spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Alex Kiriakis and Kristen DiMera ought to make their ex-partners envious. Everett Lynch believes Stephanie Johnson is going away. And on the NBC Peacock exclusive, Holly Jonas gives Eric Brady the real scoop on NYE during the week of March 25th to 29th, 2024. Days of Our Lives first week spoilers once more, Kristen DiMera and Alex Kiriakis collaborate on plans. Early weekly spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Kristen DiMera is returning to the show to form fresh plans with Alex Kiriakis. Kristen and Alex decided a while back on the Sudzer that they would do all in their power to keep Brady Black away from Teresa Donovan. Why? Kristen DiMera desires Brady's return. Furthermore, the Titan Industries CEO didn't want his competitor to become more intimate with his girlfriend. But Kristen's plans fell through when Brady needed to spend more time with Teresa due to their son's present circumstances. In addition, Alex is unsure if he can give her his whole attention on days of our lives. They decided to part ways for the time being. Kristen still failed to win her man, though. Kristen DiMera and Alex Kiriakis plan to make their ex-partners envious on Days of Our Lives the following week. Will their strategy succeed, though? According to spoilers, Brady Black is aware of the cunning couple. Furthermore, he is not an idiot. 
Can Kristen and Alex, though, make him jealous first? Does Teresa believe she needs Alex back in her life in the interim? Kristen wants to ensure that she succeeds. Early weekly spoilers for Days of Our Lives depict Teresa's accomplice, Constantine Meliunis, advising her to pursue Alex and continue searching for Kiriaki's wealth. Will she and Alex reconcile again? Or does she still find Brady to be quite attractive? It looks like Alex Kiriakis and Kristen DiMera will have their hands full. Next week, watch for a scene involving Alex and Kristen on the popular soap opera. Everett senses that he is losing control of Stephanie. Early weekly spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Everett Lynch senses Stephanie Johnson moving away from him. She is obviously perplexed by his claim to be Bobby Stein. In order to reconstruct his past, he has also asked Dr. Marlena Evans for assistance. On Days of Our Lives, Jada Hunter also cautions her pal to avoid her poisonous ex-husband. Stephanie, though, is in favor of Everett's desire to get medical and psychological assistance. Thus, the two continue to socialize. However, he believes she wants to be with Chad DiMera when he sees her cuddling him. In addition, a lot of Days of Our Lives viewers think he started the famous Horton House fire. Is Everett Lynch's dark side similar to Bobby's? It could be that he has a disassociation disorder. Viewers also believe that he is a cunning, eerie con artist with dark secrets up his sleeve. A return to the canvas for Everett slash Bobby and Stephanie is anticipated during the week of March 25, 2024. Eric is told the truth by Holly. Early weekly spoilers for Days of Our Lives indicate that Holly Jonas eventually works up the courage to tell Eric Brady, her ex-stepdad, about New Year's Eve. She wants to avoid letting her mother down. Tate Black is imprisoned in the halfway home and kept in a state of uncertainty due to her refusal to disclose the truth about her drug use. Will Tate and her be able to reconcile once the truth is revealed? They seek romance, after all, and they are close friends. However, at the moment, their lives resemble Romeo and Juliet. When the truth is revealed on Days of Our Lives the next week, will their parents still attempt to keep them apart? Keep an eye out for Holly Jonas to tell Eric Brady soon. In addition, is Stephanie Johnson genuinely separating herself from Everett Johnson? Is everything inside his head? Additionally, on Peacock's Days of Our Lives, Kristen DiMera and Alex Kiriakis plot their next move to reclaim Brady and Teresa during the week of March 25th to 29th, 2024. Check back here for more thrilling news and spoilers regarding days. Following a sobering moment of self-reflection with Chad, Stefan takes a calculated risk. On this episode of Days of Our Lives, Stefan confronts the music, Paulina returns home, Leo is adamant about telling his story, and Jada advises Harris to reconsider their relationship. Abe expresses gratitude to his pals for their hospitality at Steve and Kayla's. As he leaves, he grabs one of his packing boxes and puts it in Steve's car. Kayla goes with him so they can visit Paulina at the hospital. Chad visits the newspaper where Leo generates ideas for columns. Chad chastises Leo for trying to provide press to the man who killed his wife brutally as he pitches an article about the jailbreak. His children's friends were talking about the evil man who had fled, so he had to take them out of school. They're quite terrified. Leo sincerely regrets his lack of tact. Chad merely hopes that Clyde is apprehended before he murders someone else. For personal reasons, Everett is not in the office, so Chad asks Leo to write about Paulina's discharge from the hospital. Leo gladly takes on his task. After he's gone, Chad remembers going to Abby's grave. Stefan enters the office looking unkempt and inebriated, hoping to get another drink with his brother. After removing Stefan's alcohol bottle, Chad queries him about the situation. Stefan queries if Chad has ever felt profound remorse. 
Jada confronts Harris about his relationship with Ava when they run into each other at the police station. She fears that he is sacrificing his job for her. Although Harris respects her worry, he is aware that Ava is a fair and good woman at her core. Jada claims his relationship violates their code of conduct and notes that she is a suspect in their drug probe. He snaps back, if anyone knows about disregarding the code of conduct, it's you. While Johnny is getting ready for their homecoming celebration, Steve delivers Abe's things to his and Paulina's flat. The men recount Steve's assistance in saving Trip and Wendy while they are in awe of the married couple's miracles. According to Johnny, whomever assisted Clyde in getting away will have a cozy place in hell. Steve nods weakly, keeping his eyes off the screen. Abe pulls Paulina in a wheelchair through the hospital lobby with Chanel and Kayla. Leo and other reporters approach them with questions regarding Paulina's amazing recovery. Leo says they only want the facts, and Abe attempts to talk them out of it. What prevented Mayor Price from falling off the edge? In a canned speech, Paulina expresses gratitude to the police commissioner and deputy mayor for managing affairs while she is away as well as for all of the well wishes and well wishes they have received. When Leo goes to ask another inquiry, Paulina interrupts. She is returning home. Once everyone has scattered, Leo, unfazed, goes off. A somber Stefan tells Chad at the paper that he has been thinking a lot about what transpired between him and Abigail. He cannot recall having apologized or having apologized sufficiently. That was not what Chad and Abby deserved. He was a conceited, egotistical bastard. According to Chad, he and Abby overcame that because they were destined to be together and had love for one another. Stefan swears he was uninvolved with Clyde's escape. Why would he assume he had, Chad wonders. Stefan responds that he loves Chad and that he can't imagine how he feels at the moment, ignoring the topic. Stefan is trying to sober up, despite Chad's advice to the contrary. He must face the music and learn all the appropriate chess moves. Steve looks off, preoccupied, while Johnny and Paulina prepare balloons and flowers at Abe and Paulina's house. Paulina walks in with Abe, Chanel, and Kayla and enjoys the unexpected celebration. Kayla observes Steve off to the side, appearing as though he has just lost his best friend, as everyone munches on goodies. He tells her he's okay, he's just tired. Leo drops by with a bouquet of flowers, hoping to get a genuine quotation. Paulina gives him ten minutes after some charming banter. Jada acknowledges at the station that she occasionally breaks the rules, but Harris is the one who does so. She begs him not to give himself up. Perhaps it's time for him to stop shielding Ava and for her to make amends. Stefan sips his water and snorts at the spectator while he babbles about having backup plans. He appreciates Chad's attention. The admirable D. Mara, Chad, motivates Stefan to strive for improvement. He embraces Chad and expresses gratitude for his support. For being who you are. Following Stefan's departure, Chad and Abby examine a family portrait. He says, I miss you, and returns to his work. He opens his laptop and finds a Clyde headline. He closes it tightly and pouts. I hope hell is where he rots. Leo stays put during the celebration while everyone sip mimosas. Kayla even quotes him, stating that they have never seen anything like Paulina's recuperation. It's a miracle, according to Paulina, born of love and faith. Her intention is to fully utilize her second opportunity. To her, they all raise a toast. A more polished Stefan walks in as Harris ignores Jada's concerns about Ava at the station. He surrenders for money laundering and narcotics trafficking. He acknowledges that Clyde forced him to push drugs via the bistro. When Ava discovered, though, he acted alone and made her remain quiet. He says he's ready to make a deal and urges them to call his brother the D.A. 
John is going to turn himself in next on Days of Our Lives. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.